Yo, what is up, people? What's good? What's poppin'? And welcome back to the Crypto Gal. Man, everything is pumping to the moon. Holy crap, dude. Caspa is about to break all time highs. I also have a few other altcoin gems I want to talk about because these are all possibly going to do a thousand X or, you know, at least a hundred X. So in the stream, I will be covering my top seven altcoins to buy in 2023 and become the next millionaire and make lots of money. Man, it's not even fair. It's not fair how early we are in some of these gems that we know we're in the middle of the bear market. We're buying our bags, and our bags are actually pumping in the bear market. Imagine when the bull run comes, because I know for uh, there's a good chance that this could be your first bull run you're heading into, and I, I can just say... <laughs> This is not the bull run. This is still the bear market. And so you're going, woohoo, it's pumping. But we'll do wait until the bull run comes. That's when the real mega ultra god candle pumps are going to be flying. But anyways, the important thing to do now is to grab little bags of each of the thousand X coins. Because, for example, in the last bear market, I was throwing 50 bucks into all of the cryptos. And some of them did do a 500 X. For example, Polygon and uh, Theta and Phantom and V Chain. I just threw 50 bucks into each one and they did uh, a 300X. So, you know, when I woke up one day in the middle of the bull run, all of a sudden my $50 bags were turning into 10 grand. And I went, whoa, that's pretty cool. I hit the lottery. So, uh, for this next bull run, I'm going to be doing the same strategy, throwing 50 bucks into each of these little altcoins and see which ones actually do the pumps. And obviously, Caspa is the safest pick, hands down. It's the it's the not it's not the scam, right? But a lot of these other cryptos, they're all scams. But just because they're scams doesn't mean you can't make money. I'm gonna make a lot of money on the new scams that are gonna pump in their first bull run. These cryptos have to be all brand new. When cryptos go into their first bull run, they just pump straight up to the moon. It's ridiculous. What's up, people? What up, Gerard Black? Cash gonna pump again. I know, man. Caspa's just pumping. Agent Hitman, what's up, dude? What's going on? Yeah, Caspa to a dollar. Yes, what's up? DJ Francis, what is up, Jer? What up, Omar? Hourglass? No, wrong one. Hello is better. I know. I'm looking between Hourglass and Hello. It's a 50-50 toss-up, right? They're both decent, okay? I just, I think that Hourglass is more under the radar because it has $50,000 daily volume, but Hello is super mainstream. Everyone knows about it, and you don't know which one's going to be better. They're both fine. Get both of them. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the uh, hello. It's a good pick. Get get them both. Uh, hello is partnered with CMC. Uh, it's owned by Binance. And Hourglass is partnered with BitBoy. Uh, Hourglass is also invested in by Coinbase. I just found that out today. What up, Emmanuel? What's popping? What up, ZZ? G Fallon Cast are the best picks from this token or coin. Yeah, they're both really good. They're at the top of my list. They are my top two. What's with the anime coin? Yo, dude, I was testing out the image generation AI bot today. I added it to my Discord server, and I'll do some demos in this stream. I'll explain how that works. It's pretty lit, so it's a, it's a decent pick, I think. Uh, but it's called Senpai or Yu. <laughs> What's the Yu face? Leonard says, as soon as my tangent comes, you're welcome for the 10% increase. Yeah, dude, thank you so much for uh, supporting the channel and using my code right here. Can I... Yeah, that's 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 the way to do it. Okay, there, right there is my promo code. It's just click, put that in your, your the tangent site, and you get ten percent off. It's image night. It's on Maxi. Yes, that is the correct crypto pick. Want to buy another hundred k now? I can't. I know it sucks, dude. Cash, but pumping too much. That's kind of the reason why I'm doing the stream is to divert people's attention away from Caspa and towards the other uh, shit coins because we're pumping caspa too much it's pretty bad right we need more caspa fun damn bro caspa pumping out of the galaxy i know bobby c it's ridiculous man what's up bl crypto pt says i guess it's pappy dude it's not pappy <laughs> pappy's terrible g felon caspa will make new millionaires in less than two years easy yeah it's gonna happen what up, Waldorer says, I think Sailor knows about Caspa. He never talked about another one before. He was a Bitcoin maxi. Yeah, I would uh, I would not be surprised if Michael Saylor knows about Caspa. He could have a bag. Mountain Drive says, no idea why people still looking for some cryptos. 
more expensive than cast and g fell at this point other blah, 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 in my yeah I, I agree with you mountain drive it's just uh it's funny games you know we're, we're playing the casino i'm just saying putting like 50 bucks into each of these i wouldn't put a whole lot of money into all these all coins they're super risky i get it i understand caspa and g fell are the best ones but i'm trying to have some fun out here and keep things interesting because we're at the casino you know you, do you really want to be that guy at the casino who sits at one slot machine for the whole day you're going to get bored. I mean, you know, the one slot machine pays the most, but you might as well jump around from slot to slot and see, uh, just, just try your luck. Just have some fun, you know, go play some poker, go play some blackjack, go play some of uh, this and that. I don't know. I don't go to casinos, so I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what they do there. The only casino I play is crypto. <laughs> oh, no, say what up says, damn, it's lit in here. Yes, it is. What's up, Lazarus? Uh, Cal says, what's the girl token? That is image generation AI. I will be going through examples of that pretty soon. It's some dope artwork generation. It's really nice. What up, Web Surfer? What up, Ernesto? Ernesto says, safe moon? <laughs> oh, man, safe moon. Those were the days. LFG Casper. Yeah, what's up, Timmy? What's up, UPS Gaming? What up, BL? What up, David? Yo, what VPN do you recommend to use? Uh, use Tunnel Bear or Nord VPN. I use Tunnel Bear. Nord VPN is also decent. There, it doesn't really matter which one you use. Edwin, what's up, dude? Eric, what's up? Do you believe Flux has a place? Uh, no, no, it's a good synergistic quality of Casper. Da, da, da. Yeah, dude, Ca Flux is really good. Good utility, good chart. Um, Eric, the only reason I don't buy Flux is because it already went through a bull run. It's already on Coinbase and Binance, and they don't support cold storage. But Speaking in terms of the development, the tech, and utility in Flux, it is a great pick. And if that's what you like, by all means, go for it. I don't think it's a scam. I think Flux is actually pretty legit. But, you know, I'm going for the 500X, Eric. And so if you pick Flux, you might get a 10X, maybe a, a 20X. But I'm going for the, the 500X. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm not uh, super bullish on Flux. Nuno says, I follow your advice for GFAL popcorns until 2025. Yeah, let's go. GFAL is looking bullish dude it's gonna fly it's gonna pump is it worth selling at the all-time high to buy it back again on the dip dude it's not really worth doing it because if you sell at the all-time high and then it pumps again uh i'm gonna have to play this video for you <laughs> This is why you don't try to sell the top and swing trades because you don't really know what you're doing. If you're asking me the question, you probably don't know. So I would say I, I would advise against it. Last says, I want to win the lottery so I can buy, buy all the cash. But yeah, any profits, dude, they're all going straight to cash. But of course, yo, what's up, Fabian? What up, Aquaman? Yeah, I am the Aquaman. You know it. I have a billion cash, but I'm super rich. What up, Vulture? What up, Ernesto? I love me some scams. Eric says fair launch and all that. Yeah, Flux is pretty good. I understand. What's up, Mary? What up, Ghost? Someone made, made a scam coin before you, CG. Wow, someone made a scam coin? Abdallah accumulated 200K and continuing. I don't think we're obviously the price is again this low. Yeah, dude, it's, it's pumping, dude. Looking good. What's up, people? What up, Brett? What's good and what's pop a lopping? Let's go. Mr. Pop Corpio has 150k cash, but nice dude. You got the dolphin status. Watch the secret of your cool hair. The secret is a blow dryer, uh, and the blow dryer will make it look slick. And I also got a haircut. Thank you for pointing it out. I got a haircut today. I pay 70 bucks for a haircut, and I know some of you are like, "What? 70 dollars for a haircut? That's crazy, dude." Yeah, well, I'll pay 70 bucks for the haircut. I'll do it. What do you think? Maybe next year it'll be a dollar and might have a listing. Yeah, I think Caspa could go to a dollar next year and could get on Coinbase any day. Jasmine, to the moon? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Jasmine. Man, people are... Is Jasmine even pumping? After literally everything is pumping. Is Jasmine pumping? Water says, I'm following the buy alerts, putting 50 bucks and all the potential 1,000x coins. Yo, man, that is awesome. Y'all got to check out the Patreon Get the buy alerts, and you can follow all of my trades, my short-term trades, my swing trades, and my long-term trades. That's where it's at, dude. If you really want to make money, follow my Patreon buy alerts. Get on the VIP tier. Diego says, ready for Casper Dip if we ever get one. Yeah, I'm ready too, man. I'm ready to go all in if we get a Casper Dip. 
I was a Pepe scam pumping. It's because everything is pumping and people will mass FOMO into meme coins just because they feel like it. So just because it's uh, pumping does not mean it's smart money going into it. So be really careful with Pepe. Price is crazy. I can't understand. Maybe correction this Saturday. Javier, we can only hope. We, we can only hope the price goes down so we can buy it cheaper. Rico, what's up, dude? What's up, CG? What is up, my man? What's popping? Five to midnight in the UK. Yo, man, that's lazy. That's, sorry, lazy. Did I say lazy? That is late. I can't even speak correctly. What up, Cal? What up, Jake? GMX looking bullish. Yeah, it's bullish, but it's a big market cap already. It's pretty late. Bro, stop shilling cash, but I need to buy more. I know. That's the whole point of this stream is to show my uh, side bags, my moon bags, so we can divert attention away from Caspa. It's pumping too much, so I'm trying to not release so much bullish news on Caspa anymore. I <laughs> guess I deserve that. What a video. <laughs> I don't want to be the next East Old early guy I'm holding. <laughs> Set on cash to the next bull run. Yeah, just sit on it and wait. Need to play this more often to remind people where it may end up. Yes, people are going to sell Casper early, and I'm going to play the video for all them who sell Casper at four cents going, oh, woohoo, I made 2x profit. And then Casper is going to pump to 25 cents, and I'll play the video for them. <laughs> UPS holds Pip, waiting for the pump, go to a dollar by the end of summer. Yeah, Pip looking bullish. That is my third top pick at the moment. Crypto asking about X, Y, O. I don't remember, and I don't think it's good because I looked at it once, and I didn't have anything good to say about it. Haircuts are a scam. Should have bought Caspa. Oh, my God. Do your coworkers know about your DGENs and crypto, or do you keep it a secret? It's not a secret. They know I do YouTube, but they don't actually watch my videos. They have no idea what's going on. Dude, carding, most people don't understand crypto at all. They'll look at the titles and thumbnails and be like, what is this stuff? This makes no sense. Uh, and, and realistically, honestly, crypto is just a casino. If you think about it, most people, you should just buy Bitcoin, sit on it and wait for the rest of your life. But, uh, if you want to play the casino and be greedy and get rich quicker, we can, uh, gamble our money on cryptos and make a lot of money. I have some good scams on my list today that I think are going to make me uh, a million bucks in the next bull run. Did you do YouTube before the channel? You're quite comfortable around the camera. A lot of early YouTubers stay away from the live streams. Oh, Dario, thank you so much for the kind words. I mean, I've been doing so many live streams that I've it's just automatic. I'm basically a robot at this point. You know, I could literally be a robot and you wouldn't know. Uh, I did have a YouTube channel before this one. It was called Coin Galaxy. I'll I'll bring it up real quick. Does anyone want to see my uh, my old YouTube channel? I had it like three years ago, and I got 200 subscri subscribers. It was a really small uh, channel. Let's see, Coin Galaxy. Uh, I think I was shilling Theta at that time. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Here's my first YouTube channel from years ago. Yo, dude, this is crazy, man. This is my first YouTube channel. Videos two years ago. Theta, Cardano, Chainlink. Zillica. Yeah, this is a thing of the past. I'm all done with that, though. I only made six videos. It was, it was so much work. Brett says, not got any G file, but want to pull the trigger. You think it's going to drop back down? I don't know, man. Your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea. Is it going to drop? CG, why are you holding Jasmine? <laughs> okay, I think it's time to get into my top seven altcoins because everyone's just trolling me at this point. <laughs> Uh, Jay says, grateful CG after watching 5,000 crypto videos on YouTube. You're the only YouTuber who actually taught me something. <laughs> Let's get it, dude. That's awesome, man. Thanks for saying the kind words. I'm glad that this is helping you, dude. That's great. You're learning a lot. Um, I say, I've, I've said this many times. You only hear the information from the galaxy. There's no other channel that says and does what I do. I'm a one of a kind. Water says Casper going to 200 bill MC. It's scam if scams like Solana X or PNX or ADA can do it, so can Casper. Yeah, Casper could easily do it. Of course, we spend time studying fundamentals, and the one pumping is Pepe with no freaking value. Yeah, it's just the way it works. Accept it for what it is. <laughs> Jakey says, I'll remember you when I make it. Awesome, dude. Thank you for remembering me. Uh, will Bitcoin fall? Uh, yeah, Bitcoin could fall a little bit. I think it's overpriced. Mark says, I'm glad I bought the top of the bottom and not the bottom of the top for Caspa. I'll fix my portfolio with Caspa the same way Michael Saylor fixed his PL with Bitcoin. Yo, what's up? The time. What up, Edwin? Next name, name the live stream. My top scam coin. You won't. <laughs> that might ruffle some feathers. Yeah, dude, people hate to hear that. What? My favorite pick is a scam, dude. People still live in this fairy tale world that every crypto is not a scam. And it's like, dude. 
99% of the cryptos are actual terrible scams because they all had VCs, pre-sales, and pre-allocated coins. The only non-scam cryptos are probably the proof-of-work coins, if I'm being completely real. The proof-of-work coins with no pre-distribution, no pre-mine, and no pre-allocation. Those are the only non-scam coins. So um, you could even say Ethereum is a scam. You can say BNB is a scam. Um, I would say that um, XRP is a scam. I would say Dogecoin has more value than XRP. Dogecoin, not a scam because it was an actual fair launched proof of work coin that did not pre-allocate 60% to the team. Uh, you know, uh, most people don't really, really look beneath the surface when it comes to crypto. They usually look at the logo and go, oh, XRP is the world dominating bank coin and Dogecoin is just a meme coin. Uh, let me just put two and two together. XRP going to be the new world reserve currency and Dogecoin is stupid. <laughs> And that's what the most of the masses and the normies do, but they don't actually look at the technology of what makes the crypto the crypto. They don't look at how it launched. They don't look at the proof of work. Is it proof of stake? They don't look at how the tokens come into circulation. People just don't look at that. I'm the only one who does it, and it's so important. This is why, for example, Dogecoin does have more value than XRP. XRP is terrible, dude. It's awful. <laughs> What up, Stalker? You were a scam back then? Yes, I was a scam channel. <laughs> Maybe I am still a scam. Maybe I am. Coin Scam Galaxy. <laughs> Yo, I actually had some good picks, though. Like, not going to lie. I made 100x with Theta. I made 50x on Cardano. I made 50x with Kronos. 50x on Zillica. I made some decent gains, all right? So it wasn't a complete scam channel, but it, it did become a scam channel. So, all right. Let me get, let me get to the picks. I live and die for the crypto casino. Degen to the bone and Caspa holder during the bull run. Let's go, dude. It's too much FOMO on Caspa. Yeah, it's too much FOMO, dude. It sucks. We got to keep the price down. We got to buy in cheaper. Uh, price prediction for GFL next bull run. Uh, could go to a dollar. We'll see. Maybe five bucks. How'd you find Polygon last bull run? Did you look at this? Oh, I found Polygon through a YouTuber. I was watching a guy on YouTube. I forgot his name, but. He had some actually like really good, unique picks, but they, most of his picks kind of sucked. You know, like people just show all, all kinds of stuff all the time and you, you'll, you'll get lucky every once in a while. You got scammed with the haircut. Just kidding. Looking slick, my man. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's up? Mocking. What's going on? All right. <laughs> Brandon says, is this the scam channel 2.0? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That's when I know it's time to start. Okay. It's time to get into my top seven altcoins. Let's see. Let me pull up the screen. All right. So out of these top seven, one is not a scam and the other six are probably going to become scams. But at least they're new scams and they're going to do huge pumps in the next bull run. I'm calling at least a uh, 100x minimum on all these six picks. That is their potential. 100x, 500x, even 1,000x. You don't know. Like There's a lot of upside with these picks. So... Um, and also the next bull run is going to be bigger than the last bull run. So even though I have in my mind, oh, well, these could pump to, you know, 1 billion market cap. That's the last bull run's peak for some of these alts. So if the next bull run's peak for some of these alts, is going to be bigger. It should be bigger. It could be like 10 billion or 50 billion uh, tops for these market cap all-time highs. Uh, and these seven altcoins I'm picking to become a millionaire is based off today's budget of 1000 Dollars, And so the amount of money I would invest into each one is based on how much I believe in it, how much I trust it, the, the, the amount of risk management, and also the reward, perceived reward that could come with these. So number one is obviously Caspa. It's still the best altcoin hands down. If you just became a Caspa maxi today, you shut down my stream and then you wake up in two years after going into your coma, you could be like, holy crap, I made a million bucks and you could be fine. So <laughs> you can do that. But if we did that, then there'll be nothing to talk about between now and then. So we have to do the casino plays to have some fun and be degenerates and look up new cryptos. Because you never know, some of these new cryptos could pop and do a thousand X next bull run. So my number two pick, the winner at number two. Games for a living. There's really no question about it. Um. The actual updated market cap for GFL is on CoinGecko because Coin Market Cap is, uh, it's been smoking something weird these days. You know, like Coin Market Cap is is high on something. Maybe it's drunk. 
Uh, it doesn't update the circulating supply or the ranks really well. So Queen Gecko, though, they have the updated information. And the circulating supply for GFAL is up to about 7%. And the market cap is $11 million. And it's still early. You know what's interesting is that the GFAL circulating su supply went up from 4 to 7% in the last couple weeks. And everyone was saying, oh, my God, the VCs are going to dump on me. And I'm waiting for the dips because the unlocks are coming. And, oh, my God, the bad tokenomics. And then you know what happened with GFAL is nothing. There's not been any dumps for this whatsoever because it's actually a gem. So the people in pre-sale ain't selling. This is a, a true diamond-handed project. Higher lows, really close to all-time highs. I mean, wow. Dude, GFAL is going to pump to $0.05 cents in you know a month or whatever. It's going to – dude, the, the all-time high for GFAL is $0.1.8, cents, and now we're at $0.1.6. Cents. If we pump another – 10% we're at all time highs and this could fly to the moon. So people said, Oh, when the, when I, when can I get in cheaper? I want the, by the bottom. It's like, dude, I don't think it's coming, man. It's going to pump again. You're going to miss out. So G fell probably a good buy right now. Really close to the all time highs looking like a bullish chart. And, uh, if you, if you didn't already know the G fell team is super legit. They have the EA founder. Um, uh, they also have the, Activision Blizzard vice president, and they also have the Netflix art director, and they have an actual working game, and they do their marketing towards Web2 gamers. I am the only person who makes GFAL known to the, you know, you people, the crypto trader degenerates who like to do the casino. I'm the only one who promotes it out here. Um, I think Joe Paris covered it once, and there's like some other spinoff channels that copy my picks that also talk about it, but I'm the only one who actually believes in games for a living i think it's gonna fly and shout out to um some of my patreon members uh i think uh, uh i can't remember fogazi i can't remember your name it's, it, for, for, it sounds like borgati or fogazi um he said bro don't, don't you realize that every bull run the cryptos that do the most pumps are the gaming coins and i was like holy crap dude you're right the gaming picks always do some of the biggest pumps because they get the most FOMO, they get the most adoption, and they get listed on Coinbase. Like, look at Axie Infinity. Uh, this pumped from $0.46 cents to $160. That's like a 200x. And then look at the other gaming picks. Let's see, Engine. So Engine last bull run pumped from $0.04 cents to $4. So that's a, um, that's a 100x. Uh, what other gaming picks are there? Gala? L is another gaming pick pumped from 0002 to 75 cents. Basically, that did a 1000 X. And there's there's plenty more examples. There's a Decentraland Mana. Dude, holy crap, man. This pumped from 5 cents to $5. Another 100 X. Dude, these gaming coins, they will do 100 X next bull run. So GFL is the best one. It's the newest pick with a solid team. Really low micro cap would recommend getting a small bag of this. It's like the there's so much upside for the amount of risk you put in. It doesn't hurt to grab a little bit. <laughs> Mountain Drive says, I think it's possible to chase Caspa by getting GFAL now and jump to Caspa later on correction. Yeah, that could happen. I think GFAL um, is going to be more pumpable just because it's a smaller market cap. Dude, once the big um, whales start to realize GFAL is a gem, it's going to pump overnight because it's a 10 million market cap. Caspa is 40 times the size of GFAL. 40! It's way bigger. Like, look at the market cap sizes. So, GFAL really flying under everybody's radar. It's really cheap. And like I said, it's, it's going to be an overhyped gaming pick. It's probably going to do... At least 100x in 2025. At least. I think GFAL could actually do 100x uh, in a year. It could do it next year in 2024. And then in 2025, we could get a second 100x. So like in total, a 200x or 300x return on GFAL. So with $100, if this does a, you know, like 500x, a $100 investment today would be 50 grand. It's one of those things. You just buy 100 bucks of it. Put it on cold storage and forget about it. Never sell it. Uh, don't be the sold early guy and just wait for two years and 
for a hundred dollar investment to turn into 50 grand that's really not bad so it's got so much pump potential in it <laughs> crypto chaser asks what about good gensler <laughs> And you can't take those seriously. Just throw in like five bucks and move on. <laughs> Carding says you either die young as crypto on his YouTuber or you live to become a scam channel. Many such cases. Yeah, I know, dude. It's crazy, man. There's so many scam channels out there. Um, at least I admit that most crypto is a scam. At least I'm being honest about it, right? Because I understand a lot of this shit's scammy. You know, these most of these cryptos, they do pump and dumps every bull run and they make millionaires every bull run. And so... Uh, I used to not think that that was the case. I thought that crypto was a lot more honest and, you know, valuable to the world through the blockchain and the technology. Dude, I am a software engineer. I do back end API development. I love the technology side of it. And so that is why I, as a new investor years ago, I looked at crypto and went, oh, all this technology is some cool shit. I love this. This is going to help the world so much in Web3. And then I realized, well, I'm only buying stuff that has, you know, good tech and good fundamentals but the values of my bags were not pumping and that's when i came to realize oh i gotta look at the vcs the pre-sale the token allocations how new is the crypto how does the bull run work how does the bear market work what is bitcoin doing why is bitcoin the reason that these cryptos pump why is bitcoin the reason that these cryptos dump who are the people running the cryptos who jump from project to project pump and dumping new coins and now i realize well I took the red pill. I figured out how it works and crypto ain't as pretty as I thought it was. So it is what it is. Now that I know I'm actually blessed and honest and, 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 and happy that I figured out how the crypto works. So it is what it is. Most crypto is a scam and I can't undo what I learned. And so people going, oh my God, bro, you think all the crypto is a scam? Well, kind of, they all kind of operate like Ponzi. So if you're trying to get in early and make millions of bucks in the next bull run, dude, the only reason you watch me and the only reason everyone else watches me it's because you want to make money. Do you really care about the tech? I mean, I care about the tech, but at the end of the day, we put our survival first and foremost. We want to make money. We want to stop working, and we just want to live la vida loca and go on vacation every day, right? I mean, let's be serious. We all want to buy Lambos. We all want to go on vacation and buy mansions and buy land and eat steak dinners every day. So this is why we, we gamble <laughs> on the crypto casinos. <laughs> Eric says, imagine buying Ada or Solana when Caspa is here. Yes. Imagine that. Dude, imagine people wasting money on Ada and Solana now <laughs> after the bull run. It's like, dude, there's such late picks. They're never going to pump again. You might get a 5X on those if you're lucky, but I'm going for the new ones, Eric. Like you said, we're going for Caspa. Caspa going mad. I know, man. It's crazy. Can you guys please stop buying Caspa so much? I want the price to go down so I can buy some more. This is pumping too much. Damn it. Who is buying Caspa? I blame you. Please stop promoting Caspa to your, the big YouTubers. They don't deserve to know. Keep it a secret. Yeah, Caspa is in a permanent bull run. Sith Lord says I can't DCA. It really doesn't matter at these prices, bro. If you're an XRP maxi, you can DCA an XRP. Oh, look at what do you know? XRP hasn't done any pumps at all. Oh man, XRP. Literally everything is pumping and XRP ain't doing anything. I'm sorry. Sith Lord, are you still bullish on XRP? How come it's not pumping? What's going on with the lawsuit? So if you're saying I can't DCA, I beg to differ. You can DCA in XRP. If you really believe XRP is going to make you a millionaire, you can do XRP. Uh, Forrest says, how accurate is Coin Codex with price predictions? Dude, I would say Coin Codex is more accurate than non-accurate, right? I would give it a um, a 60 or 70% accuracy rate. It's it's decent. Yo, where the 125K like? Yo, people, smash up the like button. Let's go. How many likes we got on the video? 45 we only have 45 likes on the video oh my god you people i cannot believe it only 45 this is embarrassing please hit the like button let's go pump up the like button so we can pump our bags and send everything to the moon and make a million dollars please hit the like button let's go pump it up Opinion on Orbo Fi, it's a one mil MMC. It's kind of like MH9. 
Yeah, it's decent. Just grab a small bag of it. It's it's okay. Galaxy, the guy who pays with Casper on the first date. <laughs> Octa, Flux, and Quant. So Flux and Quant already went through a bull run. Like they're really old. So they're good picks, but they're really old. They're not going to pump a lot. You might get a 10x on those. But uh, Ahmed, the whole point of this list is to pick the new cryptos with the 100x and the 500x potential um and octa space is decent i think that could do a, a thousand x so I'll, I'll i'll keep an eye on octa space it's okay david says how does american from illinois buy a g file use vpn then maxi dude just use pancake swap you can use pancake swap directly from metamask ta trust wallet or your tangum um i've been using tangum now for swapping but you can use metamask you can use trust wallet you don't have to use maxi you don't need a VPN for Mexi. Uh, for some states, you do. For some, you don't. So it depends on your state. CG, blue to the moon. This will make millionaires? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think blue is that great. I mean, sure, throw in 20 bucks, see what happens. Praying to God, g -Fell stops pumping. I'm not balls deep enough. <laughs> yeah, dude, g -Fell is pumping too much. Oh, my God, man. g -Fell is going crazy. Actually, there's a documentary showing actually literally showing it's a scam. Why is it in the top hundred? Because most people are dumb. That's why it's in the top hundred. Oh, man, there's so many bad picks out in the top hundred. Dude, it really doesn't take much to be in the top hundred. You can be a scam and you can still be up here. So Solana, Polkadot, Avalanche, Chainlink, Cosmos, Uniswap, Bitcoin Cash, Stellar, ICP, Filecoin, Hedera, H bar. Man, there's so much crap up here. And it's like, what? How is it in the top 100? Dude, most cryptos suck. And it's just the way it is. There's not many good, decent cryptos that it doesn't take much to make it to the top 100. So I'm not surprised, Brandon. Of course, Axie is a pump and dump scam of the last four run. And this is the thing. So the strategy now is to pick new cryptos to become the new next top 100 crypto. Do not waste your money on Axie. I know you're not, but anyone else, if you're wasting your money on Axie, HBAR, Kronos, and this other garbage up here, dude, they already went through a bull run. They're all dying a slow death. They're bleeding. You got to pick the new cryptos that will become the next ones up here. This is how the money moves every bull run. Ghost says, CG, can we look at the scam coin charts? Yeah, we'll look at scam coin charts. I feel like someone from your stream uh, made it. Who who made it? What 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 scam chart? Alex says, what is your strategy selling in the bull run? Um, so for most of these altcoins, uh, is to sell on the Binance and Coinbase listings. That is the time to make money. Uh, they usually pump the living hell out of cryptos. Is to sell on the exchange listings. That is what to do. Um. Or just to wait until, you know, between April to November 2025 because the Bitcoin top will be November 25. So you got to sell your altcoins before the Bitcoin top. Not way before it, but also not after it because you don't want to be left holding the bag. You got to sell all your, all your shit before Bitcoin tops out in November 2025. Now, how to do it? The timing depends on the exchange listings. Most of the, the big exchanges like Coinbase and Binance will generally list the shit coins during the bull run because that's when there's the most volume. So um, maybe some of these get listed earlier in 24, but I, I, I'm expecting most of these scams are going to get listed in 25 during the bull run. That's when most of the volume is going to come in. So that is when to sell the scams. What cold wallet holds? g -Fell, says Benno. Uh, Tangem. And use my code right here, Galaxy. I have all my GFAL on the Tangem cold storage hardware wallet. It's easy to use, takes two minutes to set up, and it's really cheap. It's like $55, and you can get another discount if you use my code. So recommend Tangem, the best cold storage for all your favorite shit coins. Yeah, Casper looking good. BitBoy laughed at Casper thinking people spelling Casper wrong. I hope he doesn't catch on and drive the price up. Yes, people, please stop shilling Casper to BitBoy. He does not need to know about how good Casper is. Just tell him Casper is going to go to the moon. And then uh, he'll he'll waste his effort on Casper. Uh, Carding says, I care about the tech. I just want to care about them while driving my Lambo. Yes. <laughs> 
Opal says, love the honesty of CG. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. I'll call it for what it is. <laughs> Who laughs under your desk when Jasmine is mentioned? <laughs> Freaking Jasmine, dude. You said before a cast will go to zero. Now that Caspa has risen 40%, don't regret not making money. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I said Caspa was going to zero as a joke. I was completely joking. I'm buying Jasmine. I don't know who's buying Caspa. Okay, good. Go buy some Jasmine. <laughs> Please, Caspa, to a dollar as possible. I want money. <laughs> I know you people. I know you want money. And I know because I want money. So it's just the way it is. We're all in it for money. Made my rainy day brighter with a little crypto galaxy. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. That's awesome, dude. <clears throat> 45? 45 what? Uh, Eric says, like the video or I'll steal your dogs and exchange them for Caspa. <laughs> Loon C says, you don't know anything about crypto. Go work somewhere else. <laughs> oh, sure, bro. Luna Classic to the moon. The best crypto ever. <laughs> the like button just did a 2K. Yo, let's go. 2X on the likes. Wow, man. Like button looking bullish. Can we hit all-time highs and pump it to 100? Yo, invest in the like button now before it goes to 100. And you will make uh, a million like buttons. Go ahead and smash the like button to be the next pump and dump of crypto YouTube. Go ahead and smash the like. Can we get to 100? Pump it up. Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. Pump it up, pump it up. Which cold wallet for GFAL? It's Tangem, bro. It's Tangem.com. This is where the GFAL goes on. Recommend it. Tangem.com. Here you go. 55 bucks and use my code right here, Galaxy. You get another $5 off. What about NFT B? Uh, NFTs suck. Don't recommend NFTs. How much? How about Mutant Pepe? Uh, it's a scam. It turned into a scam. Don't recommend. It's dead. Sith Lord buying both XRP and Caspa. XRP take care of itself. There's nothing like covering myself with Caspa because of you. Uh, what? What do you mean? I don't understand. It will smash the like, please. Let's get to 100. Sith Lord, I'm in the top 5% of XRP holders. I'll shoot the same with Caspa. Whoa, you're in the top 5% of XRP holders? No, that's crazy. Galaxy, the kind of guy that puts DJ and Bro in his Tinder bio and still gets the matches. Uh, be honest with us, John. <laughs> Santander Bank now said Lightning could be the future payment. They have no idea about Caspa. Solve the trilemma. I know. These people don't know yet because Caspa is still super new. So please don't tell anyone yet how good Caspa is. We need more time to buy while it's still below the all-time highs. H-Bar will be a top 10 institutions. We'll look into regulated projects. <laughs> H-Bar. God, H-Bar is the worst crypto. It did a pump and dump in the last bull run. Sure, you might make a 5X or a 10X, but you're not going to be a millionaire with H-Bar. Rico says, my condolences go out there to the five that lost their lives in the submarine. There was a billionaire and his son there. I know. I heard that, too. That was really sad. May they rest in peace. I, that, that's sad, man. That's crazy. Your life could end any day, and you know, it doesn't matter how much money you have, you could just die. So it's it's crazy, dude. Uh, and maybe you shouldn't go submarining. Maybe that's just a dangerous thing in general. That's 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 terrible, man. Feels so bad for them. Price prediction for tenant next bull run. All right, you you make a good point. Let's get through these picks. Um, all right, let's get to the next one. It's tenant. Uh, so tenant price prediction, dude. Tenant actually has thousand x potential. I just found out who is running this shit. Um. So this guy, this really clever scammer, all right, Gregory Gottman, who, you know, probably had to move to Thailand because the government agencies are going to go after him. And he's like, oh, well, screw you. I ain't going to pay no taxes. So he moved to Thailand. Um, this guy has a really good uh, crypto history. Like he actually knows how to pump and dump cryptos. 100x uh, chief marketing officer for Anchor. Uh, let's see. So how did Anchor do last bull run? Holy crap, man. This is a great pump and dump scam. It pumped from 0 0.001 to 15 cents. So that's over 100x. That's a 150x. All right, let's see what other scams was he responsible for. Oh, Kandina, another pump and dump scam of the last bull run. 
He was the ecosystem growth. Uh, oh, and he says right here, helped Kadena grow from 100 mil MC to 4 billion by assisting marketing growth and ecosystem development functions. So he says right here, he's trying to pump all the shit from, you know, small market caps to big market caps, dude. You know, he's in it for the money. You know, he's trying to pump and dump on retail. You know, he's jumping from project to project, dude. This is proof right here for all you people who say, oh, well, I'm just going to buy the old cryptos like H bar and Jasmine and the stuff from the last bull run because they will surely pump again. But they're not because if you look at this, this guy is a clear example of why the pump and dumps of the, the last bull run ain't going to pump again because these people are uh, they're basically habitual scammers. They move from project to project. And they get new venture capitalists and new pre-sales in each crypto. They pre-allocate most of the tokens to themselves. And they do everything with every ounce of energy they have to pump it to the top. And he says right here, he pumped Kadena from 100 mil MC to 4 billion. That's basically a 40X. But Kadena launched way lower than that. So how much money did people make on Kadena last bull run? Which, by the way, is a pump and dump scam. Uh, Kadena pumped from, let's see, 16 cents to $20. So over a hundred X, basically 120 X. Not bad, dude. That's really not bad. This is a good pump and dump. Like you could have made a lot of money. Uh, but now is not the time to buy Kadena. The whole team quit. I, I just showed you the LinkedIn of the one guy and it's the same for the rest of the Kadena team. They all quit. You don't buy cryptos after the dump because the teams quit the pump and dump. They, dude, the teams, they launch new cryptos every bull run. They they buy the cryptos here. They pre-allocate the crypto to themselves. Um, they pump it to the top in the bull run, and then they dump on you, and then they go, oh, ho, ho, I'm going to drive around to my Lambo. And then when the next bull run gets started, they go to a new project, and they just rinse and repeat. So I, I feel bad for, for some of these new people getting into crypto today, thinking that buying Kadena now and Anchor – and Kronos and HBAR, Jasmine, Algorand, Gala, even XRP, really thinking you're going to make a lot of money, but these people are just convicted pump and dumpers every bull run. So anyways, I'm saying even though he's a pump and dumper, you can still make money with Tenant because Tenant is going to become the new pump and dump for the next bull run because these people know their shit. They know how to scam people. They know how to pump and dump in every bull run, and they know how to take this shit up 100x. Dude, Tenant right now is only a 14 mil market cap. Uh, so this guy, when he joined Kadena, he joined a 100 mil MC. So now that he created Tenant, he's starting it early. He's starting the pump and dump really soon. It's 14 mil. Just grab a small bag, because if Tenant goes to 4 bill uh, MC, what would be the gains on that? Let's see, 4 billion divided by uh what is the market cap now 14 million yo we're looking at 285x on tenant if he takes it to the top just like how he did with kadena so um how much would i invest in tenant today 25 bucks so let's see if you put in 25 bucks today hold it for two years you can make seven thousand dollars on 25 bucks i'm dead serious um, if this guy can do it again, he can easily do it again. He can easily pump Tenet to the top. He knows his shit. He worked with Anchor, Kadena, and uh, what else did he work on? Yo, he was on Akash. Yo, dude, that is lit. This is another great pump and dump of the last bull run. Holy shit, man. Akash. All right, I'll show you Akash. So he, the Tenet CEO worked here as well. Yo, Akash was a great pump and dump. Yo, man, this went from $0.30 cents to $6. Actually, that's not that great. That's only a – what's well, 3 times 6? That's a 20x. So it's not that good of a pump and dump, but um, it's still a pump and dump nonetheless. Like, you should never buy Akash now because everyone quit. You know, they all sold. They all did the exit scam. It's dead. So, uh, But anyways, I think he learned from Akash, and then he moved on to Kadena, and he really pumped Kadena to the top. Uh, he worked at some other places before this, but no one really cares. We just care about his crypto history. So 
I think Tenet is looking like a really good scam for the next bull run. I would recommend grabbing a small bag. They could pump this uh, 300x. I'm dead serious. This is actually 300x, dude. It's crazy. <clears throat> Savage says, love the content. I get excited for your stream every day. Awesome, dude. That's great, man. Dion not worthy. Yo, yeah, Dion is an honorable mention. All right, I'll honor HM's uh, Dion, Octa. I'll save the list here. I also got, there's also a um, hello. Yeah, I, I understand this more picks. Dion is a good scam too. You, you can make money on that. I understand. I'll, I'll, I'll add Dion here. It's okay. <laughs> Sup, T-Rex. What is ULX? Is that the next pump and dump? Yes, that is another pump and dump. It's a good pick as well. I, I, I'll, I'll get to ULX really soon. I want to get through some more comments. Uh, Eric says, we talk about shit coins. Meanwhile, Jack Ma is in a dungeon in the middle of the desert. What? In Germany, they talk about Caspa. Please, Caspa pump. Yeah, Caspa looking bullish, dude. Uh, you ever lend money to some from someone to buy a crypto? I, I never do loans for crypto. I, I would never do that. Pay off your debts to get out of debt. Don't take loans for crypto. It's really risky. Fazian just bought some shib and bone. Man, dude, you're not going to be a millionaire with those picks. You might get a 5x if you're lucky, dude. Just grab any of these seven picks. They're new cryptos. They're new scams. Oh, sorry, not Casper. These are new scams uh, that could actually do 100x next bull run. But mark my words, there's not going to be 100x on Shiba. I really doubt it. Okay, maybe, but you know, it's it, it already went through a bull run, right? It's super old. Oh, okay. You're saying because of my channel, you research Casper. Awesome, dude. Got it. Hedera dump graph. Casper going to drop? I hope so. The one true Jerry is officially a dolphin. Soup to be here with all the homies. Awesome, dude. That's great. And I didn't know Jerry was smart enough to do crypto. I thought you would have been like Rick or Marty. But welcome, Jerry, to the galaxy. Let's go, man. How did it differentiate XRP and Ripple? So XRP is the crypto and Ripple is the company. So they're two different things. <laughs> Other than Bitcoin, stop buying top 50 coins. You'll be lucky to get a three to five X. I know exactly, man. People waste the money on top crypt, top market cap picks, but they're not going to pump a lot, right? They're so old, man. Yeah, render is okay, but it already went through a bull run. So you're not going to get a hundred X out of it. Like, H header, do you want a hundred X or do you want a 10 X? I'm asking you, if you want the safe 10 X, Okay, get some render, but I'm actually trying to make it out here. I'm trying to make 100x, 300x. How many x cast but two, five dollar? I suck at math. Oh, uh, that's 50 times 10. That's a 500x. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Carding says for those who think the old coins will pump a lot again, check the top 100 coins from 2018 and compare it to the list today. Completely different coins. Some are in the top 20, and now no one knows them. Yes, dude, facts. <laughs> That is so true, dude. It's the same rinse and repeat cycle every single time. Well said. Y'all yeah, get to ULX in a second. Just getting through some comments. Mountain Drive says, man, your strategy to find good coins is eye-opening. It's crazy how blind we can be on oblivious things. So glad that I found you, bro. Yo, thank you. Thank you so much, man. You actually understand. I Sometimes I wonder if people kind of, if people actually listen to what I say, because most people just call me an idiot, you know, like, oh, bro, XRP to the moon, bro. And Jasmine and HBAR, the next world reserve currencies, bro. And it's like, oh my God, does anyone actually listen? <laughs> That's great, man. Yeah, this is um, truly eye-opening to some people. Um, I'm the only person in the internet that will talk about things, things this way. It's important, man. Finding good coins comes down to certain things like having a, a decent chart, a good team, uh, being new and being the next pump and dump. So it's all about timing and uh, getting an early entry and also getting picks that are going to last till the next bull run. So Mountain Drive, I'm glad you understand. And thank you so much for what you said. That's that's great that this is helping you. Caspa Silver says, KDA allocated coins to marketing. Caspa has zero to get to where it's at. KDA was propped up. 
by private investors. Yes, that is 100% facts, bro. KDA was awful. KDA had a pre-sale, pre-allocation, and pre-mine, but Casper had none of that. So Casper is way better, man. Casper is awesome. But uh, but Casper Silver, we, we got to stop being so bullish on Casper and chilling or spreading so much good news on Casper because the price is pumping too much, and I wanted more cheaper prices to buy. So why do we keep telling people how good Casper is without the you know the pre-sale and the VCs? Like, why are we doing this, man? Why? <laughs> we could work at McDonald's. <laughs> how much tenant to make a million dollars next bull run? All right, well, so if the potential is a 285X and you want a million, you'd have to get, uh, oh man, 3,500. Is that is that right? Uh yeah, Waldor, three thousand five hundred bucks of tenant today could make a million. It could. Tenant is a good looking scam. Yeah, it is a good looking scam. <laughs> when to sell finance list Caspa? Uh, it's hard to say, Jake. Just sell Caspa in November twenty five, and you'll be safe. <laughs> Save me. Oh, Image Night. Yeah, Jacob, what's up, man? I'll get to Image Night in a second. So, so far, I've only covered Caspa, G. Oh, my God, where'd Caspa go? Uh, Caspa, G file, and Tenet. Um, I think I got to get to Image Night and ULX really soon. I got to get to those. Do you think G file can go to five bill in the bull run? Yes, dude. Gala went to five billion. G file can easily do it. And even more because the next bull run will be bigger than the last one. So, it could even go to. 10 billion or 20 billion. So 5 billion at least. What's up, Mito Games? What's going on, man? All right, let's get to my next pick, which is ULX Ultron. All right, so Ultron. Just found out about this one recently. I, I looked at the website first and I went, oh, pff, it's just another scam. This sucks, but... I did some digger, bigger, deep, digger, digger beeping, bigger deeping, bigger digging, diving deeper. What's the word? I dug deeper or I, I did some bigger diving. I don't know. You get what I'm trying to say. So I looked up Ultron. I did the, the, the background check. Um, this is an actual gem. When you look at the team and uh, the market cap and what they have going for it. So. Uh, right now, the market cap is really low. So let me go. Uh, I'll, I can find the market cap on, let's see, PooCoin. All right. So Ultron, this this uh, is a cheap gem. Six million market cap. It's on the BNB chain. Uh, chart looking like decent, you know? It's, uh, it's pretty new-ish, right? It's been out since august 22 so it's been out for almost a year going flat sideways and that's a really good sign because you know the shit that did 500x last bull run like gala and phantom and polygon all that stuff was going flat sideways for a year as well before the start of the bull run so this thing is new flat sideways it's the best entry now because it's never had a pump no one's talking about it so really cheap Good low market cap, and you're asking, all right, well, who's running it? So here's the CEO behind um, ULX Ultron, uh, Shukrat Bekov, which I can't even say. But... Okay, I heard it there. You didn't hear it, but I heard it. So I, I, I heard it. Shukrat Bekov. So this guy, what is his history? It's it's not as scammy as the um, tenant guy, but at least he has some kind of decent history, right? CEO at Cyber B, senior product manager at Mavia, product manager, account manager. I mean, this guy is from, you know, what country is he from? Oh, he's in the UK. He sounds like Russian. So he's a Russian guy in the UK. Uh, but he has a decent, like, really well put together um, LinkedIn page. Talks about software development, blockchain stuff. I mean, it seems reasonable, right? Like, he's not... Like maybe I don't think he's trying to scam people, but he is also going to try to make money. So uh, he has a really good background. Obviously, none of it's really crypto related, but it is really it, it, it's technology related. Um, 
Who else is on the team? I can't remember. Ulex, Ultron, Crypto team. Oh, yeah, it's on here. Dude, they have a huge team. Holy shit. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yo, they got like 40 people on their team. 40. Oh, my God. 40 people on their team, and this is a $6 million market cap? That's crazy, dude. That is ridiculous. All right, what's their roadmap? Uh, Pre-launch... Mainnet launch, ULX. Oh, so this is a layer one. Dude, layer ones usually get some of the most uh, FOMO and pumps because layer ones are the most adoptable and layer ones consist of a majority of the top 100 market cap. There is no other narrative or category of crypto that has been as successful as a layer one. This is why Caspa is super successful because it's a layer one. Obviously, for more reasons, Caspa is the best crypto hands down, but I'm just saying the layer ones are going to pump a lot. Uh, layer ones, gaming, uh, they usually pump the most. Meme coins, I understand, pump the most, but they're the riskiest, and you never know which meme coin is going to do it. So at least with the gaming and the layer ones, you can see uh, a, a a publicly doxed team and a working product. And it's not just a, a picture of a logo. So this is why... I believe layer ones and gaming are well, layer one is the best narrative for sure to make money. Um, layer two is included like layer two and layer one are really similar. I know they're different, but they're basically grouped into the same category. Uh, gaming, I will say is the second best narrative. So let's see. It's a layer one. That's good. They're making a swap. They're doing NFT shit, uh, credit card purchases. It's all the same typical run-of-the-mill DeFi stuff nobody cares about it but um if the team actually pushes this forward for adoption and make some uh connections and partnerships and gets people onboarded onto their uh blockchain this thing could pump to the top 100 market cap you know like this could be the next solana the next tron the next avalanche it could you know it's a layer one with a super big docs team and a real roadmap and a working product so it has potential we'll see uh, i'm curious who's running their marketing timur malinov yeah i don't know if they're like really good at marketing but they could be i don't know dude i'm just saying this team looks pretty legit so whatever it is it's a six million market cap uh doesn't hurt to get like i don't know at least 20 bucks of it um geez this is a crazy cheap so as a layer one, if Ultron is the next uh, best layer one, uh, let's see. I'll compare it to Solana because Solana was the winner layer one of the last bull run. Uh, market cap all time high for Solana was seventy five billion. So, <laughs> if Ultron is the next Solana, which I understand is a small chance, but it's still a chance nonetheless. Like it's worth twenty five dollars. So let's see, seventy five billion. Divided by 6 million. Yo, we're looking at a 12,000 return. 12,500x if um, Ultron is the next best layer one. Which I understand is a 1 in 50 chance. A 1 in 100 chance. I will take that chance. I will take that risk. So 12,500 times. Um, how much am I recommending? 20 bucks to invest right now. So times 20. Yo, look at a profit of $250,000 if it is, dude. So what I'm saying is just look at all, I'm looking at all the next possible Solanas, the next layer ones, throw 20 bucks into each one. And whichever one is actually the next Solana, it makes you a quarter million dollars. So it's like, I'm not going to care if most of them fail. I am the venture capitalist company of Crypto Galaxy LLC, and I will spread my money around to different... <laughs> little layer one blockchains like this. So um, I think given the circumstances, the market cap, it's brand, it's, it's newest. It's got a legit team. I mean, this could actually do a 12,000 X. So it's got a lot of upside. I'm not going to be upset about losing 20 bucks, but I will be happy if I wake up one day in two years and I see a quarter million dollars off of this tiny investment.
seventy dollars. Damn, that haircut was pumped to all time high. <laughs> deeper, yo, what's up, mask? What's going on, bro? You said deeper dive, dug deeper. Yes, those are the terms. Thank you, sir. What are your thoughts on Supple Man on YouTube? Oh, I still got to check him out. I haven't looked at his channel yet, so I got to go see. <laughs> dumpster diving. <laughs> he says dumpster diving is more like it. <laughs> Next Bitcoin, Ben, Caspa Galaxy. <laughs> yes, I could. I have the potential. Gaming cryptos pump the most. GFAL can 300X. Yes, gaming cryptos pump a lot. And layer ones and layer twos. Those are the best narratives. They pump the most. They get the most FOMO, the most hype, and the most users. Dude, when Coinbase wants to list cryptos, they look at how many users does it have? How much volume is there? And so gaming and layer ones get a lot of that. Mass says transferring 100K out of my 401K next week to buy more Caspa and Ultron. Awesome. Dude. Mask, you actually think Ultron is decent? What do you think about Ultron? Like I have some full disclaimer. I do have some Ultron ULX. It's a layer one. It's a really tiny market cap. Um, So if you're considering getting Ultron, probably get it now because now that everyone has heard about it it could pump um it's really not that far from all-time highs let's see how far is ultron base range let's see do, do, do. yo this is only 50 percent uh away from all-time highs it's not going to take much to pump it and it has volume it's also on exchanges too it's actually going places it's on mexi bitmart uh and pancake swap that's about it so Oh, and they're also on Super X. So the good thing is that they're paying for exchange listings. That's important for adoption. I hope they start paying for more exchange listings. I'm surprised they only have those two. They need more, right? They need to get, you know, KuCoin and um, Gate.io. We got to get, get, some, get some more coming through. Uh, Should have bought more cash, but out of 1.5, now it's going up to 3 cents. Yeah, I know, Investor Squad. That's why I'm trying to not talk about cash, but so much. It's pumping you said your videos are amazing. BDW, you're sleeping on uh, uh, Miria. Yo, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, Miria sucks. I'm sorry. Like, they don't have any development. They don't have any actual connections in gaming, and they just keep dumping. So maybe they could turn things around, but for now, the chart looking like shit. Check, check that nice new gen. All right, dude. I swear to God. This better actually be a decent pick because I've not had any look at any scams today yeah oh my god man this is yeah, this is terrible dude this is awful this already came out in the last bull run this is really old i mean it's whatever sure you can grab a small bag but it doesn't look that great <laughs> thanks to seeing about cast but i think you changed my life awesome nacho yeah get some cast but man cast but looking bullish dude Casper about to break all-time highs. No, why is it going up so much? No, I don't want it to pump. Oh, man, I wanted the cheap prices. Damn it. Why is it pumping so much? Ah, damn it, Casper. Why do you do this? Mass says buying 10K of Ultron risk reward being attractive. Yeah, that's true, man. It's a good point. Like, the amount of upside is crazy, right? Like, if this hits a multi-billion MC, a lot of re reward. But uh, the risk... Uh, it's a, it's, it's, it's pretty bottomed out, right? Like how much lower can Ultron really go? You know, it's, um, it's a 6 million market cap. Uh, it's been out for nine or 10 months, just going flat sideways. So if you ever want to leave, you can still sell it. So it's not going anywhere. Gotta stop messing with hookers. I need more Casper. <laughs> Sold my UFO Star Wars and Gala for Casper. Trilemma is sobbed. What's up, Ed Sunday? What's up, man? I'm doing great. BL says, what total X do you think it could do over 500? Yeah, I think Ultron could do like a 12,000 X. Um, but more realistically, at least 500. It could do it. We'll see. Ackman says, what's your top meme coin to invest? I know you don't like them, but if you had to choose, what would you do? Uh, Probably just do Pepe because it's at least the newest one, right? It has never been in a bull run yet. So I, I would pick Pepe over Sheba. Um. Oh, and Dogecoin. I would pick Dogecoin and Pepe because Dogecoin is somewhat safe. So, yeah, Dogecoin and Pepe. DC Weekly into Caspa and quit complaining. Quit being whiny little bitches. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, Mask. That's exactly what we needed to hear. Caspa X potential. Yeah, Caspa's X potential, probably like a 200 
or 500x. It's a lot. How about Miria? Uh, Miria sucks, Ross Tom. I'm sorry. It's, it's just dumping. If you like Miria, just get some GFAL because GFAL is actually a lot safer than Miria. All right. So, Tenet, oh, Mask. Don't forget to take a look at Tenet. It's another layer one. Um, and Tenet has a proven track record of scamming people because um, the Tenet CEO, he pumped Kadena from 100 mil to 4 bill MC. And he also pumped A Cash and he also pumped um, Anchor. So, he has a history of pump and dumping cryptos. So take a look at Tenet. It's a new one, a layer one micro cap. Um, so yeah, get some Tenet, get some Ultron, get a little bit of each. Uh, what else is out here? Oh, image generation. One of my favorite picks of the day. And the reason I say that is because I added the image generation bot to my Discord and I can actually demo to you right now. How does image night work? Because you people are saying, oh my gosh, what is image generation? This is crazy. So Here's Image Night right now in my Discord, um, and people are using it. It's really fun. It's an artwork generator. You just type stuff in. So here, Virtual Moon says, uh, man giving side eye. And here's a man giving side eye. Uh, potato mustache, high res, screaming into void. <laughs> like, what is this? Uh, starting early, uh, bowl of sp spaghetti, sparkles, and glow. Uh, Caspa to the moon. I guess if you say Caspa to the moon, this is the artwork you generate. Does anyone want to see artwork generated? Just, just tell me in the chat right now. What do you want to see? Do you want to see spaghetti? Do you want to see um, Bitcoin? Do you want to see uh, anime girls? Do you want to see uh, cows and pigs? Do you want to see a casino? Uh, anything. Just come up with anything. Just be creative and we'll make some artwork because uh, this is for image generation. All right. So while you're typing, I'll show real quick. What is Image Nye? Uh, this is an 18 million market cap. And I think this is a bullish chart. Like this is pump. You know, it pumped up on the first pump and it's just going sideways now. So it's holding a strong floor ever since February. So uh, looking pretty solid, right? Like these are diamond hands. Uh, they have a strong community. It's on exchanges, Poloniex, BitGet, Maxi, and LBank. It's also on Uniswap. So looking pretty bullish, dude. I think it's a good pick. The only reason I picked this in the first place is because because of, of the bullish chart. And then when I checked out the um the artwork, I was like, yo, man, it's looking pretty good. So Bitboy is a scammer. Can the bot generate an image? <laughs> All right, let's see. Last night. Uh uh, let's see. Rich man in a golden suit holding Bitcoin. All right, this is what I typed. Rich man in golden suit holding Bitcoin. Generating. Please stand by. All right. Whoa. Looking nice, dude. This is the rich man holding Bitcoin. Yo, that's pretty cool, dude. Got some Bitcoin logos. Um, It's not really. Oh, yeah, it's a kind of a golden suit. But he's got a golden background behind him he looks classy <laughs> that's pretty cool uh so yeah this is bitboy i guess we made him look too good so hold on we got to generate a homeless person all right let's see uh slash nine uh homeless man in ripped clothes uh tent in background in dirty streets um Food on the ground. Uh, sky is dark. Okay. Here's the next picture. Homeless man in ripped clothes, tent in the background, dirty streets, food on the ground, and a dark background. Oh, that looks pretty realistic. Wow. So, if you invest in cryptos that is getting promoted by BitBoy, you have potential to become the next homeless person living on Skid Row. You'll live in a tent and you'll have a lot of food laying around on the ground and you'll have to fight for scraps. <laughs> oh, man. These these are the people who invest in um, uh, Bencoin, Jasmine, HBAR, Kronos, Luna Classic, uh, VRA, and everything else. So this is what happens. <laughs> well, that looks like him. <laughs> Definitely that isn't BitBoy. I know. So... <laughs> Well, that looks like him. All right, so this is BitBoy. Is this BitBoy if he was homeless? <laughs> Image generate fat guy eating cereal from a toilet bowl with a raccoon on his head. Okay, mask. We'll do it. I like the suggestion. All right, let's see. So, 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 uh, 
fat guy eating cereal. All right. So to make it more work, I, I, I understand how the algorithm works. So I, I can't type it exactly the way he said it, but I'll try to make it as close as possible. Holy crap, dude. It's a raccoon sitting on the toilet eating a bowl of cereal. Um, I don't know how to make a raccoon on his head, but uh, there is a raccoon, a fat raccoon man who's <laughs> eating cereal on the toilet. There you go, Mask. This is uh, the artwork that was generated. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> Don't be one of those influencers saying things without actually checking on the blockchain. It's the whole point. Um, checking on the blockchain. Checking what on the blockchain? What are you asking? The whole point of what? Checking what? I don't understand, Severin. What are you saying? I don't understand. Fat raccoon, the next meme coin. <laughs> okay, so that's image generation. We got a little carried away. Uh, this is a 15 million market cap. Uh, the, the, the high potential in image generation is that this is a AI crypto. So, you know, with chat GPT, I think AI cryptos are going to have a good run. Maybe not as good as gaming or layer ones, but they still have potential. So out of all the AI cryptos, this is the only one that I would like really recommend. So image generation looking pretty good. It's pretty fun. You can try it out yourself. Uh, it's pretty decent. For Image and I, CEO of H Bar Lemon Bear, dumping his bags while eating Big Macs. <laughs> okay, let's let's try it real quick. All right, let's see. Um, I don't think the image generation knows who that is, so let's say let's see. Uh, man holding empty bag, um, eating burger, money on floor. Uh, Okay, here we go, carding. Uh, this is as close as I can get it to what you've asked for. So let's see. Uh, yeah, not really close. Like, he can only eat a burger at one... Like, they can only do one thing at a time. So either he's eating a burger or he's stomping his bags. So let me... There we go. He's eating his bags. Uh, he's got some... Uh, looks like McDonald's. <laughs> oh, nice looking burgers. <laughs> you can't call it Richard Hart's uh, coin... S man, you, you say that, but actually on the blockchain, you can see that the OA wallet has never sold hacks or PLS coins. <laughs> Dude, Sarin, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to look at the hex chart and be like, oh, pump and dump of the last bull run. Ain't nobody ever going to make money again. Dude, this thing is freaking rugged. It's like so dead. Oh, but the OA wallet has never sold. Dude. You'd really think that they're going to be honest with you and tell you, oh, well, that's the only crypto we have. No, somebody sold, somebody dumped, somebody had secret wallets on the side that they're not telling you about. So just saying, dude, Hex was a great pump and dump of the last bull run, and it's a uh, dump into shit. So, uh, you know, good luck. I don't think you're going to make anything on Hex. This is really bad. Price is 0 0.0088. Um, we thought the floor was 0 0.024, but it just keeps dumping. So uh, go ahead and buy Hex and keep making Richard Hart even uh, uh, richer. <laughs> Check EDX. All right, let's see. What is uh, EDX? Equilibrium. Dude, there's three of them, so I don't know which one it is. Holy crap, man. This thing is a huge scam. Oh. Ed Sunday. Bro, are you serious? This is terrible. Eating and shilling his own crypto, such as a scam. <laughs> one thing that does not add up, BlackRock EDF needs a lot of Bitcoin support. Is it logical? They want the price lower. I don't know, dude. And no one really knows. They don't control the price, so who, who knows what's going to happen. Gordon says, LFG, let's go, man. Uh, maskless warrior riding off bull. Oh, okay, let's do it. Maskless warrior. Okay, let's see. So, uh, and where is this? Let's see. Uh, People in my Discord are 
<laughs> generating images right now while we're streaming. That's cool, man. Virtual Moon makes a, a flying potato. <laughs> Bro, you made a flying potato. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Maskless Warrior. This is for you, my man. Um, Where's the bull? Oh, here it is. I don't think you can ride a bull, but you can ride a horse. But I don't think you can be on a bull. But here you are. You're sitting out here, uh, I guess, with a mask on. I mean, a mask less is just no mask. So how do you, how are you no mask? Being Saying you have no mask is like saying you have no glasses or you have no hat. Like you just, if you don't have it on, you're just a normal face, right? So I don't understand. What does maskless mean? Crypto galaxy could be the next, <laughs> the next something. We need to cool down people. If you sold Jasmine just by Luna Classic. <laughs> They claim an association with Reddit. All right. Well, they also get to claim themselves as a pump and dump scam. Generate King Boo. All right. Let's see. I don't know if it understands Mario terms, but we'll see. Can it do Mario stuff? <laughs> it does a anime girl Mario. That's so funny. <laughs> there you go. There's King Boo. Best crypto channel on YouTube. Hope everyone understands how lucky you are to have John. Wow, dude. Thank you so much. That was so nice, man. Appreciate it. Bro, maybe click the log button on the chart before you look at the chart. This is the state of influencers. SMH. What to do? <laughs> oh, Seren. Okay, let's go check the hex log chart and we'll see if it's better. Man, this thing is still looking like shit, dude. This is terrible. Do you see this dump? This is garbage. You got to find new cryptos going into their first bull run. That is the whole point of making money, Sarin. You got to buy the new cryptos before they do the pump and dump, man. You can't be buying this old shit out here. It ain't going to pump that much, dude. You might get a 5X on Hex, maybe, or a 10X, but I'm going for the 100X because I'm trying to make some money. You got to buy the new cryptos, Sarin. The old ones ain't going to pump a lot. Sure, Hex could pump a 5X, but uh, are you really going to be a millionaire with a 5X pump? Man, you got to buy the new crypto. So what else do I have out here? Uh, hourglass weight. I would only put in like 10 bucks. Super high risk pick could have potential. Uh, man, this thing is pumping, holding a really strong price floor, and they're invested in by Coinbase. You're like, what? Coinbase is invested? Yes. I'll I'll bring it up. Let's see. Where is it? Coinbase. Uh, Hourglass raised $4 million in a seed round uh, led by Electric Capital. Includes investors such as Coinbase, Circle, Tribe, Hack, VC, and other angels. So um, this means Coinbase has potential to list Hourglass next bull run and actually start pumping our bags. So uh, looking pretty early. It has a bullish chart. Uh, you know, if if anyone were to dump it, you really think Coinbase is going to dump it for pennies? You know, they're not jeets, right? They're not going to sell early. So uh, Coinbase looking legit. I don't know who these other people are, but Coinbase is investing in it. So uh, I think anything with an investment in my Coinbase has potential. Uh, and same thing with PIP. PIP also looking pretty good. PIP is invested in by Coinbase uh, and Binance. This is invested in by both of them. Yeah, invested by Coin Coinbase, incubated by Binance. Uh, incubated just means it's the same thing, basically. They're both invested in by Coinbase and Binance. And so all I'm saying is that when we get our uh, when the next bull run comes, the, the scam coins that pump the most are going to be the ones getting listed on Coinbase and Binance. There's nothing else that pumps cryptos because most people are stupid. Most people wait until after the Coinbase and Binance listings to go buy the new cryptos, but no one puts in the effort like you and I do to be true degens to go around on the sketchy exchanges to figure out how to use a DEX like Uniswap or PancakeSwap uh, and to actually hold for two years. Most people ain't going to do it because they're lazy. Um, and because most people are lazy and stupid, we can dump our bags on the Coinbase normies in two years after it lists on Coinbase. So Pip having potential to list on Coinbase and also uh, Hourglass Weight has potential to list on Coinbase. 
either one could do it. So Pip, 18 million market cap. Uh, I think if Pip pumps to like a five bill MC, looking at a 277X on Pip. Yo, man, that's insane. So if you put in 60 bucks, that's my not financial advice uh, times 60. Uh, that would net $16,000. So if I put in 60 bucks now, I could make 16 grand on a Pip. Coinbase listing as possible. Uh, the other potential Coinbase pick is Hourglass. Wait, uh, was a 32 mil MC? If that pumps to five billion, that's looking at a 156 X. I would only invest uh, how much? 15 bucks. So if I put in 15 bucks, uh, I could turn it into 2,300 dollars. Not bad. Can't complain about making money, man. So I'm just saying, grab small bags of each of these ones before they list on Coinbase, before the normies get into crypto. Um, you know, if it's invested in by Coinbase, it has potential. It has connections to make it somewhere. So yeah, Hourglass weight looking good. Good chart. It's also new. My philosophy applies to all the new scams. It has to be new. Cannot have ever been in a bull run yet. It has to have a good bullish looking chart and also has to have potential to list on big exchanges and also be in a decent narrative at least some of those <laughs> homeless guy riding a lambo <laughs> all right I'll, I'll do that real quick let's see uh homeless guy riding lambo let's see Okay, poor man driving a Lamborghini. Let's see. What is the artwork going to be generated? I can't even see him. Like, you just you just see the Lambos. It doesn't really work. UFO gaming? Ooh, all right. I know you're not asking for the picture, but let's see. So that's my um, UFO video games. Let's see. Oh, UFO gaming is a scam, bro. It's a pump and dump. I don't recommend it. It's a scam. It's dead. It's, it's a terrible chart. Yo, this UFO looking lit, dude. Holy crap. It's pretty cool, dude. <laughs> Thoughts on A0? <laughs> Considering it came out during the bear market, that's done well. Da, 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 da. All right, let's go see. What is A0? LF0. Let's see. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I understand it came out in the bear market. You know, it has potential, sure. It's not bad. It's an okay chart. Um, it could pump a lot, but the problem uh, is that it's a 211 million market cap, Yuri. So I understand it could pump a lot. I, I think the most you get out of this is like a a 10x or maybe a 100x. But the, the other more micro cap layer ones that are in the 20 mil market cap range, those are looking at the 1000x. So, yeah, it, it's fine. You go ahead and grab a small bag of A0, but it's... Uh, it's such a big market cap already. So, I mean, yeah, you'll make money on it, but I'm trying to pick the better cryptos that are in the lower market cap range. So see here, the reason I picked all these cryptos on the list, Yuri, is because they're all under uh, generally a 20 mil market cap. I know there's an exception with Hourglass. I can demote it. I can take it off. But to get in earlier is going to be the bigger pumps because when you get in at a 200 million market cap you're looking at less returns so um i understand it's a good pick it could pump a lot but uh i would recommend these two layer ones over that just because they're lower market caps so you can get more money you can make more money on these ecap says no bs what is the best cold storage for caspa and why um i would say tangent i mean you only have two options, right? It's one key and Tanjum. I use Tanjum a lot. It's safe. It's secure. It has open source code for the app. The company has been out for six years and there's never been any issues. They can't access your private keys. So it's pretty safe. I use it for most of my cast ball. I never tried one key yet just because it never came in the mail. I'm still waiting for one key. So the only two options is uh, Tanjum and one key. So uh, for now, get Tanjum. It's going to ship quicker. It's cheaper. It's safe. It's secure. Uh, if you use my code right here, Galaxy, you get 10% uh, off. So try Tanjum. 
The other option is one key. I recommend trying it too. I never tried it though. Full disclaimer. I don't know how good it is. I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail. So we'll see. But these are your only two options is one key and tangent. Mark says it was not until the channel that I realized everything Powell Crypto I invested in did well, but most of the piece of shit, I mean, POS <laughs> cryptos been bleeding since February this year. And so many influencers are promoting that garbage. <laughs> Yes, sir, Mark. You took the red pill. You figured it out. You understand how it works. The POS cryptos are complete garbage, but the proof of works, uh, they do make it somewhere. Hey, ECAP sold half Jasmine for Caspa. Awesome. Hold on. You didn't sell all your Jasmine for Caspa? Oh, man. Dude, Jasmine is like the worst crypto ever. Oh, my God. Dude, this thing is rugged. Look at the chart. Jasmine. Oh, my God, dude. This chart is just some garbage. <laughs> oh, man. It's down 99.66% all the time. There is no recovering this. Who's going to buy it? Who's going to pump your bags? The Coinbase listing? It already got on Coinbase. So it's just terrible, dude. This is an Ethereum token. It's not even a coin. Man, this thing is so late. It's been through a bull run. It listed on Coinbase. They have a lying team who calls it a coin, even though it's actually an Ethereum token. It's not even a coin. <laughs> this thing is awful. Can we cash out crypto because the banks are difficult? Uh, Asthma, you can just sell your crypto to stable coins or to Bitcoin. So Ren says, I agree with your point. New coins pump the most. You put me on GFL and Caspa, but why wouldn't you say uh, PLS is another new layer one? Oh, yeah. I mean, Pulse Chain is okay, right? It's a new crypto, at least. If you have to get hacks, you may as well just get Pulse Chain because it's newer. Uh, it could pump a lot because I think Richard Hart understands that he has to keep launching new pump and dump scams every bull run so that he can actually make more money because he knows hacks ain't going to pump for shit. So, uh, and it's on exchanges too. It's pretty good. So I think that there's potential with Pulse. It's a new layer one. Uh, I don't know what the market cap is. Does anyone know? It's not even tracked on here. Is it on CoinGecko? Pulse chain. Let's see. Market cap. Unknown. Okay, I don't know the market cap, so I gotta. I I would have to do more research and figure that out because I have no idea what the market cap is for this. It's completely unknown. Do you have more coins in your portfolio or to show us? Yes, I have more coins. Um, I have these. I have more, dude. I have so much shit, dude. I, like I said, my strategy is just to throw twenty to fifty bucks into all the thousand x potential coins, so at least I hit one of them. You know, uh, just to list today. I, I have more. I have more than these. Uh, just want to say a big thank you. I invested Caspa G Falmeria. Thanks to you. Don't want to get paid to pump bullshit coins. Thank God I came across your channel a couple of months ago. Awesome. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for saying that. That's that's awesome. Um, Yeah, I actually don't, for anyone else wondering, I don't get paid to talk about any cryptos. And it's like, whoa, what a surprising concept. A YouTuber who talks about cryptos, he actually invests in? Yes, I invest into all these cryptos on this list. So um, that's the only cryptos I'll talk about are ones I hold. Uh, and also, Yuri. I don't have Miria anymore. I sold all that shit for more G Fowl because I know G Fowl is way better than Miria. So, uh, I mean, Miria could pump again. Chart looking like shit right now. I don't know what's up with Miria. I just feel safer with G Fowl. I would rather consolidate to a better pick. So, would recommend G Fowl over Miria. But yeah, Casp is great. G Fowl is good. Um, grab a small bag of Pip as well. Get some Image 9, Tenant, ULX. Get small bags of each of these. Maybe not Hourglass. I don't know. Hourglass is kind of whatever. Maybe I should go sell. Actually, no. It could pump again. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, ULX, Tenet, Image Night, uh, Pip. Definitely de decent picks. But uh, yeah, welcome to the channel. Great to have you here. And thank you so much for your support. Man, that's awesome. Oh, we have for likes. 121. And people, if you also want to support me somewhere else, get on the Patreon. I recommend the Patreon. Um. If you want to see my whole portfolio, you can get on the Patreon and see it. Uh, whoops, hold on. Oops, I just clicked on something. 
Uh, wow, I got to check my... Oh, my gosh. People are blowing up my messages. All right, I got to check this after the stream. Why am I logged in? I don't want to log in. There we go. As if I was not logged in. All right. So check out the Patreon. Uh, take a look at the VIP tier. Premium tier, millionaire tier. Oh, my God. Dude, it keeps logging me in. This is uh, oh, whatever. I'll just go to the membership right here. All right. So premium, uh, VIP, and millionaire tier. Check those tiers out. Uh, man, it keeps like signing me in. All right, whatever. You understand the show. Just check out the Patreon if you want to support my channel. Uh, you can get my buy alerts, sell alerts, track my portfolio, and actually see everything that I'm trading. And you can also get uh to join my discord group and we do talk in here about crypto every day uh caspa whale just bought some ultron all right so you people are bullish on ultron why are you all bullish on ultron because i said tenant was bullish too but everyone goes oh my god ultron is better but why is that why is ultron better than tenant um someone tell me what's up with ultron i mean i understand it's it's got potential but it is a small market cap right it's six million that's crazy so yeah, check out Patreon, support my channel. Um, shout out to all my Patreons right now. Shout out to Nerdy Dave, Barracudas, BL Cone, Crypto Surge, Jacob, Caspa Whale, Mr. Crypt, Razzle Dazzle, RCH, Unf with the Bull, Virtual Moon, J Jim P, J Man, Lazarus, Razoras, and Jaggy. You guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Awesome, man. Appreciate the support. We recommend get on the Patreon. Patreon is looking pretty bullish. Oh, here we go. Public view. All right, this works. All right, here it is. Oh, free trials too as well. If you think my Patreon is a scam, you can join for free and support me. And if you're saying, oh, well, pff, I don't need Patreon for anything. I know what I'm doing. Okay, that's cool. Like, you don't have to do that. But if you want to support me, and anyway, I do this for free. I literally do all these live streams for free. I deny money to become a paid shill, and I do everything completely for free. So if you want to give back to the channel, if any of the information I have given has helped you, I would appreciate if you would give back in any way that you can, one of which is money. <laughs> That's just the simplest way to give back. So if you want to give me money to show your support for the channel, it gives me more money to do, put more time into this and to make better content, to do more live streams, to do more videos. So um, every bit does help the channel. It grows it a lot. Man, if I could go full time on this, dude, I would be doing two live streams a day. I would be doing a video every day, but um, I still work a full time job. So my time is very limited. YouTube is just a part time job, but I have potential to become a full time YouTuber eventually um and it all ultimately comes from how much support i get from people who watch me uh and i realized man i could do youtube full-time if i became a paid chiller because these people they offer a lot of money for videos right like people the paid chillers they get paid several hundred dollars per video just for doing advertisements and chilling pump and dumps um Man, I could make a lot of money doing that, but I ain't going to do it. I'm going to keep it honest, keep it honest. And if you want to donate money, you're more than welcome to do so. Jasmine is flatline. There's no heartbeat for that one. Yeah, I said, dude, it's freaking done. <laughs> Share a list of all your coins. Oh my gosh, there's so many coins. I can't keep up with all of these. Oh, Ghost says people like ULX better because it's cheaper. Oh, okay. You make a good point. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. I mean, yeah, it is cheaper. Six mil market cap. Um, but Tenet also has a good team, right? It has the Kadena and um, the Kadena pump and dumper. But uh, yeah, ULX is certainly cheaper. Six mil market cap. That's crazy low. Digi Zero says you seriously have the best picks for cryptos. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Glad you like my picks. Uh, and they keep getting better, right? Like they're not always the best, but they're okay. Uh, I think if I keep doing these top seven altcoin streams, I'll keep refining this list, you know, and then we'll keep getting better picks. Cause, um, I think, uh, hourglass, I could probably demote in favor of ULX, Tenet, Image9, Pip, 
But um, yeah, it's less, it, it's better. I understand there's some other decent picks, right? There's Dion Octa. Hello, there's man. There's so many cryptos. It's so hard to pick the best ones. Market cap not accurate. Not accurate. It's just a vanity metric. It's really reliable. Anyone can come up with one cheese. What? No. Oh my God. Okay. So Sarin says. Market cap is not actually accurate. It's just a vanity metric. It's fairly reliable. Anyone can come up with a 1T circulation coin and sell for one cent each, and the market cap will be $10 billion. Ren, <laughs> that's not how it works. I can't just go launch a crypto now with a $1 trillion circulation for one cent each. It's impossible. Dude, there, there's, there's a, a certain amount of liquidity and money that's actually in the crypto, and that will determine the uh, the market cap because the market cap is the price times the, the circulation, but also you need to have liquidity. Dude, you can't just launch. If there was a crypto with a 10 billion market cap, it could be a 10 billion market cap, but it's going to be a fake 10 billion. There's no actual money to back it up. You still need to have liquidity and actually be on exchanges. So you can't just launch any crypto and have... Dude, if people could do that, you would look at the top uh, 100 market cap and there would be new shit coins up here. But there's not because you actually have to have liquidity. So, sure, your crypto could be 10 billion market cap with that one trillion supply and one cent each. But um, it's not going to be a legitimate 10 billion market cap if there's only, you know, two thousand dollars liquidity. So it's, it's, it's pretty fake. Right. It's going to look like a scam. Jacob says, dude, if these calls make me money, I will gladly invest and give back. Yes, dude, that's awesome. That is part of my strategy. I figured that if I actually help people make money, then more people will join my Patreon and support me back monetarily. So that is part of my strategy is to talk about cryptos. I think we'll actually be making money, um, which is happening now, right? Like uh, Casper, Pip, and GFAL are all pumping. So, man, people are really making money already. Water says, I watched a dozen of YouTubers, but you're the only one I learned something from. And Caspa is the only crypto I'm bullish on. Awesome, dude. That's great to hear. Glad you appreciate the channel, man. That's great. Uh, Theo says, what do you think of Parsec? I don't know, dude. We'll see. This uh, sounds pretty scammy. I hope this is a... Oh, my God, dude. This already went through a bull run, and it did a pump and dump. Ah. <laughs> Theo, bro, we're looking for new cryptos to go into their first bull run. Man, this is some old crap of the last bull run. Bro, you got to find the new picks. You might get a 5x out of this if you're lucky, but this is dead, man. This chart's done. It's old. You got to find new cryptos. They're the only ones that will pump. Uh, Agent says, Shido. All right. Shido. Let's see. Holy crap, man. This thing's pumping. It's on Maxi. Nice. What does it do? Who is the team? Is the team doxxed or are they anonymous? Because I swear, dude, if they're anonymous, I'm not going to consider it. Oh, the team is public? Yes. Please be public. What? They only have Twitters and Telegrams? That's so stupid. Man, this could be a huge scam. I mean, I understand all the cryptos are scams, but like this is the scammiest of the scams. Is this guy even legit? Bajorn? What's his last name? This is not doxxed. Oh, here, Bajorn Bonover. Okay, if he has a LinkedIn, I can actually see if he's real. Six profiles. This guy better be real. Oh, maybe he is real. Okay. What? He has nothing? Nothing on LinkedIn at all. Whatsoever. All right. Uh, who's this other guy? Einer M. Vassil Steinov. This is not the same guy, though. I think this guy looks way different. Is this the same guy? Let me know. Is he the same person? Yes or no? <laughs> I think not. Travlad? 
Oh, dude, this is a scam. Dude, Travlad is a huge scammer and a paid chiller. This is this is not going to be a good pick, dude. I'm sorry. This is one of those short-term pump and dumps. This is not going to be good. Don't recommend it. This team is garbage. <laughs> we can't do anything with our profits if we don't cash it out to pay off the mortgage. Well, you got to cash out your profits on exchanges. My fiance tries to copy you when you say pump and dump scam. <laughs> Miria, is it good? Not really. Not anymore. Nope. Tenet's a good project. Yeah, Tenet's looking decent. I do recommend some Tenet. What about Ternoa? All right. What about Ternoa? Oh, I can't even type anything. Ternoa. Let's see. Yo, dude, this thing is looking like crap. This is terrible. This is a pump and dump. Ah, uh, Theo, this is really bad. Dude, you got to find, like, I understand. This also went through a bull run, dude. This went through, dude, you have to find a crypto that was launched in 2022 or thereafter. Anything that was in 2021 is an old crypto. It's never going to pump a lot because it already went through the bull run. So you got to find new cryptos to go into their first bull run. And that is what this entire list is. These are all new cryptos. These will have the highest pump potential because I am actually trying to make it out here. Uh, to make a thousand X, not a measly 10 X. Dude, 10 X is shit. I want a thousand X. I want money. Jimmy says, gas, grass, or cast. <laughs> no one should get free advice like we're getting here. Thank you, but I think you should post your Casper address when we all need to send you some. All right, I'll put a donation link down below for Casper. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Jimmy Buddha, I'll have to make a Casper donation address. Man. So you'll donate in Caspa, but not Patreon. All right, that's that's fine. I know people don't want to do Patreon and credit cards. I'll take crypto too. You can join my Patreon on crypto and just shoot me a message or an email. And I'll accept crypto and give you access to the Patreon. Support my channel. I am poor and I'm broke. <laughs> All I have is knowledge and experience about crypto and I have no money to show for it. <laughs> it's pretty ironic. But I will make money next bull run. I swear it's going to happen next bull run. It will come later. <laughs> SDEX. Okay, Theo, I hope this is new because these old cryptos are not good. So, okay, this is pretty new. So it has potential. All right, looks fine. <laughs> Mexi Bitmart. Good chart. All right, so it's looking decent so far. Looking all right, looking good. Uh, what's the team? Who makes this thing? Are they anonymous? Oh my God, where's the team? It doesn't even say. Mardex team. Not even on LinkedIn? Where's the team? Who makes this? Theo, do you know who the team is? Is this it? Khaled Salem? Is this the guy who made it? Oh, here we go. Crunch base. From Egypt. Yeah, I don't know, man. You got to find out more information about the team because if they're not doxxed, they're, it's not going to have good potential. Uh, is track good? Origin Trail track. Holy crap, man. This is an old pump and dump scam. No. How many times do I got to say it? It has to be new. The old pump and dumps are all dead. Incensito says, I am poor and broke too. <laughs> Do you think Doge has 10 billion liquidity? No, no, it doesn't have to have 10 billion liquidity, but it has a lot more liquidity than a new token that just launched out of thin air. No, I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even going to answer that. This is too much. You're, I'll let you cool off. I think you're getting upset. <laughs> 
You already researched Miria. Yeah, I already did the research on Miria. It did not look good. I think Patreon looks good. Ooh, what's going on? What's happening? Check my notifications. What's going on, people? Support the channel. I'm poor and I'm a small YouTuber. Oh, and subscribe to the channel too. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and support me. Uh, thank you very much. All right, I'm getting tired. Time to go. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, I'll catch you all in the next live stream, and peace out. Have a good day. Thank you very much.